It's not the same pizza. It's not the same product. It just doesn't taste as good. The way they're making the pizza, the way they're putting the pizza together, is just not fundamentally sound to what makes a Papa John's pizza a Papa John's pizza. On Tuesdays here at Number Six with Cheese, we do fast food spots, and today Papa John's. We saw you guys said uh, they got that $12 epic stuffed crust pizza. So today we're gonna pay $12, get it, and see if it's epic, and tell you if you should get it. Uh, come along. <laughs> One epic stuffed crust pizza from Papa John's acquired jump cut. This is a Corey Wagner second angle. Okay, what do we got? Open it up. Okay, it's stuck. There we go. Got something here. Tape, don't care. On seal, boom. And pepperoni and cheese, and that's it. Doesn't look much different, but on the inside, we know that there's apparently epic cheese, crust, stuff, something or other. I feel like these uh, this crust isn't as thick and busty as some of the photos I saw. Are you gonna rip it or no? Yeah. I wasn't gonna say anything, that's why. What are you doing? I was that? just doing another angle for it. Just rip it. Do it Turn it into a show. I'm on to you. It's a greasy loose. boy, huh? Did they cook it all the way through? Look at this. Watch when I try like to watch I try to rip it. Yeah, it just fell apart. When the bottom of it comes apart. So we placed this order uh, 35 minutes before we got it. And the app said it was ready, and I, I went in there to get it, and they went, it's going to be about 10 minutes. We haven't even done it yet. The app lied to us. Okay, I just thought it said ready on here, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, epic stuffed crust pizza from Papa John's. Cheers. Cheers. It's like... I think they rushed it out the door because I was yeah, in there. Yeah, they absolutely did. It's Which, like not even cooked all the way through, it feels like. I can understand if like I went in there and the app was like, it still says we're making it. it I saw it go through the steps, making to baking to ready to pick it up. Um, and the lady like clicked the button on the computer. I saw her do it. I was like, it says it was ready. I watched the guy make it from scratch. Papa John's is lazy. There was That's nobody else. For. There was nobody else in there either. Like it wasn't like they were backed up. Probably just back there smoking drugs. <laughs> I also saw in the bin, the lady got it out of the refrigerator. It's just a plastic bucket of large string cheeses that is in this. So I would say this probably takes two or three of those because they're probably like this long. Mm -hmm. It's really off-putting to see that right before you get the pizza. Like how this, <laughs> the allure, if you thought this was like fresh baked cheese into this, this is just a bunch of cheese, uh, what do they call it, string cheese? Mm -hmm. Just string cheese. So what's epic about this? The stuffed crust uh, is supposed to be way bigger than a traditional stuffed crust. More cheese and a thicker experience. Doesn't seem that way. Yeah, I'm not like overloaded with cheese or something. I mean. $12 is a great price for a Papa John's pizza because as we always talk about, like it's normally, if you're not getting a sale price there, it's really expensive. That's about the best thing about this right now is that this big pizza is only 12 bucks. But granted, you can get just as much pizza cheaper at a lot of the other places. Both of these, I, I tried to rip them off, the nose came off, the tip. Mm -hmm. They got circumcised and I don't respect that. Don't you listen to him, you are perfectly normal. <clears throat> Thank you, thank you, Doctor. Except for the anteater. <laughs> Seriously, though, it's it's very, very unpleasant. Such a bummer that, yeah, this could have used another two, three minutes in the pizza oven. Mm-hmm. That's Papa John's for you, though. Their Papa Diaz somehow tricked me into Bob by leaving that Papa John's to turn a corner. Yeah, it sure did. And that's just not the case. Kind of hilarious. They just folded this pizza <laughs> and called it a quesadilla. <laughs> I kind of respect it. That's some, that's some petty, like little trickery stuff I would try to oh, do. Oh, 100%. Somebody. Back to our old ways, man. This is such average pizza. Yeah. It's below average meat because the crust isn't even all the way done. Like it tastes mushy. Yeah. That garlic's really coagulated. Is it normally that thick? No. 
That looks like it's just already stopping hearts. Oh, great. Yeah, not that great. No, not really at all. String cheese tastes so like you legitimately went to the dairy aisle, bought a bunch of those and made your own. Like it just tastes so string cheesy mm -hmm. and not like fresh mozzarella, which it, it's not. So why would it taste like that? And I don't think anybody's ever used fresh mozz. No. I just think everybody's always used string cheese, but sometimes it's a problem with adding more. Previously when they used string cheese, maybe it was such a little amount and there was so much more dough that you didn't notice that it was just trash, trash cheese. Right. But then you really beef it up and it's hard to miss the fact that this is just gross string cheese. Yeah, I'm just... It's you know, not a pleasurable experience. You don't need to order this. This guy sucks. Yeah, I'd go as far as to say as you shouldn't. Yeah. Especially from whatever this location. This is trap, like a little nose here. It's such a bummer. The dude just rushed it out the door. I had no problem waiting. I'll always wait a couple extra minutes if it makes the food better. Yeah, that needed to be like crisped up more. I'm gonna take this. Yeah. Well, Papa John's back to being Papa John's. We've always made a good living. Um <laughs> before we go ahead and rate that pizza, let's do a shout out. Pilot shout out, pilot shout out, pilot shout out. Tonight we are reading on youtube.com forward slash Number six with cheese. You're already here, so you pretty much know where to go. Corey wrote a script. Me, Zach O, Thomas Bergman, and Zach Phillips. Boom. If you saw last Tuesday, uh, we read highly educational little table read. Super fun. You can go watch it now. It's yeah. the live feed save on there. Absolutely. And script number two tonight. 7.30 Central, so 8.30 Eastern, 5.30 Pacific. Uh, come watch us read Life After College. Life After College. It's gonna be a great time. You can watch a bunch of actors on there, a bunch of really talented people uh, read these scripts. Laugh. Bobby Hajar, the guy from the Packy video, top our top video. He'll Packy. be on there. Yep, um, a lot of familiar faces I'm sure you'll see. Bookmark it, turn on a notification, write it in your planner, do whatever you gotta do tonight. Grab a drink and come watch comedy happen. I guess that's a moment of truth. Um, we're gonna go ahead and rate the Epic Stuff Crust Pizza for $12. Pepperoni uh, out of five Epics logos. Like that streaming service that I feel like a lot of people don't use. Oh yeah, I never heard of it. <laughs> How many Epics logos do you give the Epic Stuff Crust Pizza from Papa John's? Man, that was trash. First off, it's something that doesn't need to be made epic. It didn't taste any more epic. I mean, if they say they put more cheese in there, I believe them, but it's not like it was a noticeable epic thing. That was rushed, You could, like I said, the tip, it was a circumcised bowl pizza. It was like a perforated tip. You'd yank it and that whole thing would come off. I'm sure you guys experienced that before. The cheese ingredients are sliding off. That's because it wasn't baked properly. Um, I've seen Papa John on a podcast. He would not approve of that pizza. No. So I don't know why these stores are, I guess because he got kicked out for, oh, because he was saying the N-word Yeah, whatnot. he's a racist. But uh, yeah, I don't know. That's just not a, not a good quality pizza. I'm gonna give that, uh, I'm gonna give that a 1.5. Mm. Oh. That's really funny. That's exactly like what I was thinking. Because I thought one was a little harsh. Like 1.5, yeah, it's definitely between a one and a two. I just, I didn't enjoy the taste overall of it. And maybe that it was a big part of it not being cooked enough. Like I yeah. like a little bit more of the crispy pepperonis and the cheese, not fully melted. I mean, it's fully melted, but not like, not taking cheese to the finish line is such a travesty. Like that could have been instantly better with some cheese bubbles or something. Uh, yeah, let's just go 1.5. Let's just go 1.5. Uh, yeah, you don't need to get that. Uh, let us know if you guys have had that, uh, what you think of it, if yours was cooked all the way through, uh, just what your thoughts of Papa John's are. And uh, we'll be back here tomorrow for a local video. So it's probably gonna be really good because it's local Chicago food. Watch the uh, pilot readings tonight and we'll see you later today. Goodbye. Peace. <laughs>